In this video, we'll be talking about permissions. When you use Quilla with your team, you don't always want everyone to have access to everything. Quilla's permission settings are flexible, so you can give your team access to the content they need and protect the content that's sensitive. To get started, let's take a look at two user levels in Quilla. If you're an account admin, you'll have access to view and edit every page in your team's account. If you're a creator though, you'll have access to the pages you've created and any pages your team has explicitly shared with you. As we explore the different permission settings, keep in mind that they apply to creators. Admins are always going to have access to everything in the account. Now let's step through some of the settings. Let's pretend for a minute that I'm the owner of a travel agency and I want to be able to share some things with my team, but not everything. Let's start with the account level permissions. Head to the Settings menu and then to your Account. This is where you're going to find the default settings for new pages. If you keep your pages private, each member of your team will have access only to the pages they've created by default. Then they can choose to share them with others. Or you can give the whole team access to view new pages no matter who's created them. And lastly, you can give everyone access to edit all of the new pages in the account. Again, no matter who created them. And remember, the admins can access all pages. But this default permission is a great way to set some general ground rules around how your team is going to work together. Now, in this case, I want to keep all of my pages private by default. With the second account level setting, you'll decide whether the creators on your account can invite new users. Sometimes adding another user will increase your subscription cost. So this setting helps you control that. You can either allow creators to invite anyone to your account or only new users that have company's email domain. Or you can prevent creators from inviting anyone. And just as a reminder, the admins on your account can always invite new users. We'll talk more about inviting users to your account later. Permissions also extend to individual pages. I'm going to go ahead and open this page and click on the team icon. This will show me who currently has access to this page. I can also see who can only view the page and who can edit it. I can also update the access for any creator here. But this menu is going to be grayed out for admins because they can see and edit every page in the account. As a general rule, if you want to have more control over who can access which pages, it's best to have a limited number of account admins. Now, you can see that I've shared this page with someone on my team already, and now I want to share it in with the second person, but I only want them to be able to view it and not edit it. So from here, I'll start typing the name of the person I want to add. I'll see them appear, and then I can choose the view only access. Then I'll click on their name to add this user to the page. So now my teammate is going to see it on their dashboard, but when accessing it, they'll only be able to view the page. They won't have edit access. Now, let's say that I also want to share this page with someone who is not a user on my account. Since I'm an admin, I can invite them to my account right from the page. I'll click the team icon again and type in their email address. Quilla will recognize that this person isn't currently a user on my account and will give me the option to invite them. Any admin on your account can do this anytime. And remember, you can control whether creators can invite new users from your account page like this or not. If you haven't given creators permissions to invite new users, then they won't see this option at all. Now let's take a look at the permission settings that are available on our enterprise plan. Account admins can set these up for their team. First, you can lock specific blocks of content you've saved to your library. Here's a terms and conditions block in my saved library. My whole team needs to be able to add this block to their pages, but this is legal language. So I'll need to make sure no one is going to change it. If I lock editing to only admins, then any creator on my account can use this block, but they're not going to have access to edit it. You can lock any type of block this way. You can also add similar locks to page styling options. Let's go over to my settings and then to the brand editor. And then under team permissions, I'm going to decide which styling tools my team has access to. This is a great way to keep all the pages we create looking consistent and on brand. 
And as I update the permissions, I'll also be able to see a preview of the styling menu my teammates will see when they are creating pages. Now, as a reminder, these restrictions only apply to creators. Admins will have access to all styling tools. And that's how permissions work. If we can ever answer any questions about permissions or anything else, let us know. Reach out at help at or via the help button in your account.